All right, we've stuck a red filter on the GoPro 7 to see if we can get some better underwater color. I could not find the filter right away for the GoPro 10, so uh, we'll get to compare our footage. All right, let's do this. So what are we doing today, Captain Dave? Today, we're gonna go ashore to this beach and we're gonna walk what looks like a path over here. And I'd like to get over to the other side, take a look at the uh, ocean side. We're also gonna go dive off the point here and take a look at some of these bombies and see if there's anything interesting. And uh, probably before we do any of that, we're gonna take a look at our anchor and see just how twisted up the chain is and maybe reset the anchor before we go. Would you like to show us what it looks like on the screen plotter? Come take a look. And so, this track here, you can't really see it. So this track here is when we were here last time. So picture this being the outside arc of the circle. So our anchor would have been here somewhere and our boat would have been facing this way. This time we came in and we dropped the anchor here somewhere and we started out facing with the wind coming from the east, more or less. And then it started to shift and move and bounce and bob and turn and we went back and forth. We went in a complete circle all the way back around and here we are here. So we'd be all twisted up. So in other words, the anchor has that danger of being pulled out because we twisted around her, correct? Correct. So the anchor is really well set. We showed earlier where we set it. It looks good, but if the chain wraps around the anchor and then gets any kind of torque on it, it can lift the anchor out of the bottom and then it has to reset. And the problem with trying to reset with a chain wrapped around it is sometimes the anchor will get fouled in the chain and it can't reset. Which had, has happened to us once already. It happened at rudder cut when we were trying to set the anchor. Yeah. The chain fouled on the anchor and it just, it couldn't set, which was really obvious then because we were backing up on it and we just kept right on going. And you know, if that happens. Trickier, if, like, there's no wind here right now. Yes. We're at four knots, which is pretty much nothing. Nothing. So with zero wind, we have no worries because the weight of our chain is what's holding the boat in place. There's no stress on our anchor at all right now. Mm -hmm. But if the wind picks up, that train will, that train? If the wind picks up, that chain will straighten out. And when that chain straightens out, that's when it runs the risk of grabbing that anchor and pulling it out of the bottom. So we're gonna go have a look, see if we've uh, got safe anchoring. If not, we'll either straighten the chain out a little bit while we're down there, or we'll come back up, re-anchor. And Sounds then, like a great idea. But I'm looking at four knots of wind. I think this is a good day to send up the drone. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but if you look off behind the drone, there's a shadow in the water. I wonder if it's a rock. So can you actually see the screen, babe? Yeah. You're seeing what she's seeing? Okay. Cool. Because from this perspective, it's a little scary watching it over there buzzing around the sailboat full of shrouds and lines and <laughs> stays. just hanging in the air the same way that bricks don't.
tell me all about her. She's pretty easy to fly. If you don't get crazy with her and you're keeping an eyeball between your screen and visual, direct visual, it's fine. And it's a lot of fun too. So you're saying you want the one with VR? Oh my God, the one with VR. <sighs> That'd be just crazy. Wasn't that thing doing loop-de-loos and stuff? This will too. A little trickier. There she is. The biggest problem I have with her is that the screen is not, first of all, it's not big enough. Second of all, when she's, when um, there's directions given on the screen, whether it's verbal or, or whether it's written, neither one can I, first of all, read, second of all, hear. So it's kind of, you just, you just gotta bring her back in when things start going bee boo and see the flash and you just bring shit down. So, cause I don't wanna lose her. can see from the anchor is that even though we're pulled off to one side what we're expecting for the wind is for it to push us that way the wind is going to be coming from the east where we'll be sheltered pushing us this way which is going to stretch the chain out at the end of the anchor it's not going to foul the anchor so even though we've come around in a circle the anchor still is not being fouled by the chain it's still set in there solid we're good to go play. Yay. Let's go play. Almost bashed your head on the boat, but we're not putting that on video. Okay. I might put that on video.
Sorry if the camera's a little shaky. It's because I'm carrying me everything. Somebody came ashore empty-handed after a couple of drinks. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we decided that the uh, sky's clouded over a little bit, so we're gonna take this little cooler time and walk, but the uh, tide has gone out, and we actually had to walk from uh, where you see that second brown band over there. We had to walk the dinghy in, <laughs> and now it's stuck on a sandbar. When we had brought it in earlier, it was like right, right there. Here. So let's go Give see me what some this. Stuff to carry, whiner. Thank you. Give me some. Let's stuff see where to this carry. path goes. I was kidding. Take the drunk girl out, Walker. I know how this goes. So I thought I saw a path over here somewhere. We're gonna go and see if it goes anywhere. A lot of footprints on this beach. You'd think somebody was here earlier, like flying a drone or something. These aren't our footprints. Those nope. are dog prints and people prints and all kinds of prints. <gasps> is this, I thought this was an uninhabited island. <laughs> uh -huh. This is great one. So I almost flew my drone into this tree. That would have been like super hilarious and costly, but you know. Super hilarious and costly do tend to go together. So there's the path. Ow. What'd you do? Stepped on a sand burr. Why? Because I thought it'd be fun. Well, it's not. Don't do that anymore. Um. This is a lot like trudging. Yeah, I got sand in my sand. Put <laughs> a sand on it. You got sand issues? I have. Issues. And I can't see, my glasses are all smudgy, and it's cloudy. Shut up. And your face is burnt? My face is burnt. I'm starting to think this doesn't go anywhere. You're going nowhere. Over there. Over here. Over, here. Over there where? This away. That away? You know, from the window to the wall. Shut up. You know, you look like you're staggering because you've been drinking, but it's just the sand it's is the really sand. soft here. It is the sand. The sand on my hands. The way I was going was more pathier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What? Walk through a web? Yes. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Is there anything on me? Check, check, yeah. check. Nope. Okay. Okay. So not this way? Not that way. So you want to go I the way I was going? <laughs> I am. Oh, there it is. There it is. There she is. There she is. You bitch, you almost caught me. Oh my God. Been eating good. Yup. Oh. So Lisa just broke into her web. Yeah. Which frankly is just rude. That wasn't fun. Oh my god, there's another one, Dave. Right you. This Where? Is the one I actually. <laughs> oh. Oh my oh, she's god. She's even bigger. Are you sure there's nothing on me? There might be a third Size one. Size of that. Oh my god. This is not fun anymore. <laughs> That doesn't really go anywhere. I I think I'm good. This is the extent of our hike? Yeah. I found some new friends and then I'm done. Good. <laughs> well. What? The way is blocked. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Okay, this was not what I had intended. At all. What's on the menu? Hey? She's busy. She's busy. 
She's busy. <laughs> so is that the end of the hike? Yep, that's the end of the hike. Let's go. You first. But there's another. No. But there's a marker no. over by the. There's a. No. All right. Fine. Never get to have that any is fun. Three big motherfucking spiders so far. I ain't playing. We should have brought the tickle stick. Could have flayed them. <laughs> Thrown them on the barbecue. There's nothing creepier than walking through a spider web. Nothing creepier. Well, there, like, there's where's the motherfucking one, spider? There's one thing creepier. What's that? Feeling a spider on you after walking through a spider web. <gasps> we have missed multiple opportunities today. When we were swimming, three great big ass lionfish, we could have caught those, flayed them up, and now we've come ashore. Did you see the size of those spiders? Each one of those would be a meal. All right, we've stuck a red filter on the GoPro 7 to see if we can get some better underwater color. I could not find the filter right away for the GoPro 10, so uh, we'll get to compare our footage. All right, let's do this. Thank <laughs> you. 